Good morning friends, how are you? It's Wednesday the, it's not Wednesday, it's Monday the 14th of December. It's about half seven in the morning and oh my goodness I'm tired. I'm really starting to hit my wall now, really starting to hit the wall. But you know, walls are meant to be broken. I slept in till about six o'clock this morning which well, it speaks volumes for me, doesn't it? I never do. So I jumped up and had a shower and, um, yeah. So I'm just going to make some mince pies before work. I've got to get a parcel in the post to my parents today for Christmas. Oh, sorry, Jeff's there. They were going to be coming for the allotted five-day visitation. But, um... Yeah, everybody just seemed, mum and dad seemed a bit uneasy about it, um, a bit anxious. I just said, look, let's just, just leave it, you know, we can, we can FaceTime and we can open presents via FaceTime and, you know, it's not the same, but I don't want mum and dad to come and not feel completely comfortable. And, you know, we have come this far now, haven't we? They've both had health issues this year. I think dad had a heart attack and mum a stroke earlier in the year so um yeah we have to be careful so um yeah it's a bit I'm a bit sad I'm not gonna lie but you know Christmas for me is about being together as a family and spreading joy and love and we do that always and we'll do that in the spring and in the summer and in the autumn so and we will be together, you say. We'll FaceTime and have dinner together over FaceTime and things. But, um, yeah. But anyway, I need to get their gifts in the post today. I'm sending them with a courier. So I'm going to make Dad some mince pies now. And then get them in the post as well. Because they're going with a courier, I know they'll get their like, guaranteed next day delivery. So um, they'll still be fresh when he gets them. So, yeah. I really, really don't want to, if I'm honest, but I know when Dad, because when he messages me tomorrow with <laughs> a mince pie in his hand and a smile on his face, I'll, I'll be so thankful I made the effort. But right here, right now, I don't want to. <laughs> but we will, we will. Come on, we can do this. <laughs> I was hoping to have tomorrow off, but um, yeah, I think I'm just going to, keep going I think once I stop that's it you know so I'm better just to keep going nobody's putting this pressure on me work wise customers know that they've bought things on a diet to order they know that the Rainbow Chronicles has um, so I think it was a 10 working day turnaround time and we're well within that I just want to get it done so I can get things before last postage dates and and the quicker I get it done the quicker I can relax you know so it's not anybody else putting this pressure on me it's just it's just the way I work <laughs> um well I want oh, I wanted to say as well um I'm not always getting to answer everybody's messages I'm trying and I read everyone but please know that this is me saying, I am here as your friend. You're not alone. If you need a friend, just message me, email me. Yeah, there's some heartbreaking stories, aren't there? And we're building up a lovely group of people in our little comments box below and you know, people are sharing their honest and open stories, which is a privilege and an honour for me. And if if in any way I can reciprocate that friendship and be there for you, please, please, please reach out. Um, and I'm glad these, these videos bring you just five minutes of joy and a coffee with a friend, which is all I ever want it to be. It's... Um, yeah, I don't, it's not too serious, I hope, and it's not an infomercial for Lay Family Yarn, which, you know, some vlogs and podcasts can be, can't they? But it's just a chat with a friend, and I'm glad that for some of you that finds 
that finds your heart and it's able to bring a little bit of joy to your day so that's completely humbling for me and I feel honoured when you write things like that so thank you and know that I'm here for you too right let's make some mince pies I use um, Delia Smith's mince pie and mince meat recipe and I made my mince meat back in October did a couple of vlogs I think I showed it on there and I've since made another batch um, so I use this Delia's mince meat re uh, pastry recipe as well which is a really old fashioned oh, just enough literally a gram under um, my Tesco shopping comes today so that's alright yeah, it's a really old fashioned pastry recipe that uses both butter and lard which I know isn't um, particularly popular these days. Um, yeah, most people going for the all butter, but actually it makes the most crumbly, flaky pastry. It's beautiful. So I don't think about what lard is. <laughs> and I eat just doing it. Well, in fact, like butter's just pure fat, isn't it? I, I don't eat butter or margarine or bread or sandwiches. I don't have anything like that so um, it's all a bit gross to me to be honest um, faffing around are you? are you all ready for Christmas I'm not not at all I managed to get some of the other parcels I need to get out done last night so they can go to the post office today as well. Um, I think I've just got two more then to get packaged up into the post so that felt good. So I'll get that done tonight and in the post um, well you know one of the days Wednesday probably that'd be good and then it's just I've got all Nick and Megan's wrapping to do but you know that's okay isn't it I'm lucky that I managed to get my grocery shopping done online so that's coming today and then I've got another one before Christmas as well we should have been going on holiday today Nick and I we should have been going to since Megan was very, very small, we've gone to centre parks every year, this time of year, and oh, it's just pure magic. Um, they, they, nobody does Christmas like it. It's Honestly, it's amazing. But it was just Nick and I going this year, so we decided not to pay for all the facilities of centre parks that we were likely not going to use, and we just hired a cottage. Um, on a different in a different set of woods and it, I mean it's lovely it had a hot tub and it had an outside cooking grill and uh, it's just uh, an outside fire it was beautiful but unfortunately the area that it was in is in tier three so they can't have guests until next week well, hopefully next week the bandings in the UK get reassessed, but it was too late for us then. But you know, so be it. To be fair, the way Nick's health and eating is, it was probably a blessing in disguise anyway. But yeah, I was a bit disappointed. And of course, those days formed quite a large part of our Advent inspiration, but... We'll make it work. I will explain that as we go along. So today's colourway was called Hats for Everyone because I'd made myself, Nick and Megan a new woolly hat to wear on holiday. As it turned out, Meg wasn't coming, but I made her a new hat anyway. So that's the name of today's colourway, Hats for Everyone. <laughs> so I'm going to... Um, Combine my fats with my flour until it's like a breadcrumb stage. 
I use this little pastry mixer. I think I said on one of my other vlogs when I was cooking that I can't stand my hands being messy. Oh no, especially with like greasy things. <laughs> so this works really well for me. Plus, my grandma always told me that you can't make pastry with warm hands. And since I've just got out of the shower and I am all toasty warm, my pastry might not come out as well. So, yeah, my grandma always said that. And she always had cold hands. I think knowing now what I know, I'm sure she had some like vascular issues, but the time you don't think that as a child do you but she made the most delicious pastry and she always said I've got cold hands and a warm heart <laughs> I love that expression I do make mince pies and you can buy some perfectly good ones can't you now some really nice ones Certainly we eat some in our house, but um, they do freeze incredibly well, don't they? So I do make them and I just pop them in the freezer and then I can just get one or two out for me. My dad loves them. He's going to be so happy when he gets these in the post tomorrow. Probably be more happy about these than he's um, receiving a box of gifts. I quite like a shallow mince pie, but my dad likes a, a deeper one. He likes much more mince meat to pastry ratio. So I shall make some of both and then mum can have the shallow ones as well. not there yet so this is a really simple pastry there's no sugar it is literally just flour a pinch of salt and um, the butter and the lard I have sometimes put clementine zest in which is lovely but I don't have any until the shopping comes at eight o'clock so well, between eight and nine I'll pause you a second while I carry on with this, eh? I'm sure you don't want to sit and watch me do this for five minutes. sort of breadcrumb stage now and you just add enough cold water um, to bring it all together I've had this cold water in the fridge again my grandma used to do that 10 minutes we've got a fridge with a water 
dispenser, so I just took it from there. But yeah, my grandma used to put a little little jug in there. She always used to tell me to mix it then with the knife again, just so to avoid hot hands until the last minute, and then you you sort of knead it with hand by for as little a time as possible. My mum makes the most delicious scones um, of all the family. Mum's the scone maker and she uses the same principles. She barely touches the dough at any given stage with her hands and um, kneads it for the least amount of time as possible just to bring it together. I think it's that same principle of not overworking the, the glutens in the flour. I do love cooking and baking, and, but lately it's just been time and I've just fallen into this rut of having one thing on a Monday and another on a Tuesday and because food to Nick at the minute is, there's no joy in food, it is just something he has to endure a couple of times a day in order to feed his body, there's no pleasure in food for Nick. Which is such a shame, isn't it? It's all going in. A bit more water. I can't avoid using my hands all the time. Although I would if I could. if I was always like that as a child but you know some kids don't like having mucky hands do they There now. can see how crumbly and short this pastry is but that makes for the most delicious mince pie and I think that's the lard and not overworking the mixture with water. Yeah, I'm going to pop that in the fridge for about half an hour just to cool down while I um, clean up and Go and get me shopping bags out of the garage ready for when Tesco comes. How many vlogs have you seen this on this year? There must... I haven't actually. I haven't... Although I'm a bit behind on quite a lot, but I haven't seen many people making mince pies yet this year, but I'm sure there will be a plethora. Beautiful. There you go, so I've rolled out my pastry. That's it. <laughs> I'm just using my lard cutter. I'm not going to show you all these, you all know how to do this, but I just wanted to show you a little gadget I've got. Quite like a gadget. So just drop them in there. It's really thin, the pastry, so 
and you're coupling with a meter stick. I've got this little move here so you can see. Um, this little chap, and it is for just wedging in pastry shells. So it creates a nice lip for your filling. So you can use it for sweet or savoury tartlets. I'll show you. I'm going to pop a spoon of mince meat in each of those now. Pop a lid on, egg wash over the top, and then pop them in the oven for work. And then I can take them to work while they're still quite hot, and then they can cool down and work then ready to go in this afternoon's post. I am glad I'm done with. I know I didn't, I really couldn't be bothered this morning, but. Feels good then, doesn't it, that you know you've done something that somebody else will really, really appreciate. So here's the mince pies ready to go in the oven. I've stuffed them with the filling, popped the little tops on, and egg washed them. Yeah, they'll go in the I haven't crimped the tops to the bottom, so they will puff up and split that absolutely fine. It means I can get more filling in that way. <laughs> 